constitutional debate on the legal system and how this puja impacts legal corridors in India. Dushyant Dave joining Mahesh Jaitmalani on the other side. Joining me on News R versus tonight is uh, Mahesh Chetmalani, senior advocate in the Supreme Court, and Dushyan Dave, senior advocate also in the Supreme Court. And uh, the visuals of Chief Justice of India, Mr. D.Y. Chandrachur, uh, celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi and the Prime Minister with him by his side, has created uh, quite a storm. Dushyan Dave, uh, my first question goes to you. Uh, in all likelihood, this was an invitation uh, to the Chief Justice's resident. It's the occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi. But what's the twist all about? Uh, the entire legal circles are up in arms almost as if the heavens have fallen. Well, heavens certainly have fallen. And I can tell you, I feel like burying my head in uh, you know, sand like an ostrich. I mean, this is unfathomable. It is unbelievable. It has never happened in the history of India's judiciary. One of the most important aspects of judges' life is aloofness. I am sure Prime Minister is not a personal friend of Chief Justice Chandrachur. And therefore, for him to invite him, you know, I have nothing about Mr. Chief Justice having his religious, you know, fervor. Every one of us has nothing wrong about it. But to invite the Prime Minister on an occasion like this, then to have photographers and videographers and allow that image to be splashed across the country on every newspaper is something which is really shocking. It is unacceptable. It is a judicial misconduct on the part of the Chief Justice. And I will tell you later why it is so. And it really has sent, I would say, shockwaves into the minds of right thinking, you know, lawyers, and I'm sure judges across the country, and more so in the minds of the people who must be wondering what is this camaraderie about? Well, uh, Dushyan Dave, before I get in Mahesh Jaitmalani, I just have two questions on facts arising from what you first said. You said this is unprecedented. It's never happened before. Can I please correct that? Because uh, K.G. Balakrishnan, the then Chief Justice of India, went for an iftar party to the then Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh's residence. Now, an iftar party is all right, but a puja is not all right. Is that what you are saying? And number two, would you rather not have known about this meeting? Ho jati, theek hai, but why were the cameras there and why are the visuals splashed all across social media, newspapers and television? channels is that your objection neither of them are right uh, prime Minister, i mean chief justice having attended an iftar party was equally wrong but in any case it was at prime minister's house and it was a public function where i'm sure there were hundreds of people at chief justice chandrachur's house it was only him his wife and the honorable prime minister so that's a distinction I am not for a moment saying that he can attend iftar and he can't attend uh, Ganesh Puja. I am as much religious as Chandra Chudis, but there are some things which you don't do as a judge. I mean, I can do it as a lawyer. Secondly, I am not saying that he's, you know, uh, merely photographing is uh, bad. I am saying his prime minister, his invitation to prime minister is wrong. Prime minister going there is equally wrong. And also, you know, for both of them to have a deliberately allowed photographs to be, you know, splashed. What is the message that they are giving? The Chief Justice is giving a message that to his entire judiciary, that Prime Minister is my friend, and therefore, please keep quiet about in any, you know, taking before taking any decision against the government. What is Prime Minister telling the country? Don't worry, the Chief Justice is my friend, he is master of the roster, and I'm sure at a convenient state, Chief Justice will, you know, do what uh, is perhaps in my, you know, my favor or my uh, something sympathetic to me. I mean, these are messages which will go. I'm not saying it may happen, but you must understand that in the minds of people, it has sent shocking, you know, messages about independence of judiciary. And I think what has happened is unacceptable. Balakrishnan was really not the epitome of some great uh, virtues. 
But we one expected Chief Justice Chandrachud to conduct himself properly. And I must say, I had expressed apprehension about Chief Justice Chandrachud's political aloofness before he became Chief Justice in a public interview. And I think he's proving me to be right. So well, I think... I Mahesh, think is well, let me get in Mahesh Jaitmalani to defend the first part. And Mahesh Jaitmalani, Dushyan Dave is uh, in knots in a twist. Yes, I, I want to ask you, has the separation of the judiciary and the executive been uh, wiped away? Is KGB, or as he was called, or KG Balakrishnan, uh, not as equal as D.Y. Chandrachur, as Chief Justice was meant to be? What, you know, is it a perception issue or is it a reality ethical issue that Dushyan Dave is raising? Well, the ethical issue is a figment of uh, Dushan's mind, with great respect to him. And I am proud to be, I am proud to be one of those not right thinking lawyers. Because I believe that this is a completely innocuous event, but uh, Dushan Dave and, 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 and his ilk are so, pre uh, are so short of issues to criticize really the, 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 the Prime Minister and their, uh, their, their uh, the obvious ire against the chief, present chief justice for reasons best known to them. I, I think he completely underestimates the people of this country. The people of this country do not believe by an innocuous darshan during the course of an aarti for the most revered deity in Maharashtra. People are going to think that the prime minister is a friend. They are going to do, only going to think that the prime minister is an ardent devot devotee of the deity before whom aarti was done. Nothing more than that. Equally, they are not going to think that somehow or the other, the chief, the, the chief justice of India is carrying favor or is beholden to or is, or, or is uh, passing some message, this some kind of imaginative message which uh, uh, Dushan Dave has unfortunately uh, chosen to uh, cast against him. Now, let me tell you something. This is all very selective outrage. As you pointed out, Dushan Dave, today he may say that uh, criticize Justice, Bal Justice Balakrishna because he Chief Justice Balakrishna because he's no longer the Chief Justice. It doesn't hurt to, it doesn't hurt Dushan. But in those days, did he raise a, did he raise his voice against Balakrishna? I I dare say he did not. This is selective outrage and this is typical of them. The, 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 the motive is actually mischievous. When they attack the judiciary, it is to put the judiciary on the mat and pressurize them. It is also, it is also a act of frustration that the various misconceived public litigations before which they bring him, Prachant, uh, Indira Jai Singh, the various totally misconceived uh, public litigations which they will bring before the, the courts and both of them to the Chief Justice's court are given short shrift as they deserve to be. They are misconceived petitions, they are mischievous, they are political. That's a huge so charge you're making back at Dushyan Dave that almost as, as if it's an ecosystem that is criticizing this because they want to pressurize the country. judiciary. But let me come back to you, Dushyan Dave, and let me ask you this question. Chandrachur, while he was giving uh, uh, all the judgments that were against the government, was fine. He was the poster boy of this so-called liberal ecosystem. Let me count out the, just, uh, the judgments that he's given against uh, the government. Government. The Aadhaar project where uh, uh, he was the dissenting opinion which uh, went the other way. The Bhima Koregao arrest, the Supreme Court orders on the complete disclosures on the electoral bonds which were something that the Prime Minister kept extremely close to his heart. The Supreme Court uh, judgment on uh, the Delhi government's powers versus the Lieutenant Governor's power, the Sabri Mala case, the right to privacy, the Kerala government when he was hauled up, all of these went against the Prime Minister and his party. But he's remained your uh, poster boy because he gave judgments against the Prime Minister. But one puja and everything just vaporizes? Well, he has never been my poster boy, let me tell you bluntly. And if you want to see, you please see my interview with Karan Thapar before he became Chief Justice. So let me bluntly tell you that I have never, although he has been a friend, he is an intellectual giant, but there are some weaknesses in him. One of them is politically, he is inclined towards, uh, you know, as master of the roster, I must tell you, his role has been seriously questionable. He may have given few good judgments, but there have been many judgments that he has given which are highly, you know, uh, uh, favorable to the executive in power or party in power. 
But be that as it may, what I want to tell you is something, and this is important. You know, on 7th May 1997, the full court of the Supreme Court ex unanimously accepted the restatement of values of judicial life. Now, that's part of Supreme Court's website. And when the government brought the Judicial Accountability Bill of 2020-22, Judges Accountability Bill, this was actually incorporated in Section 7 of that. It's a different matter. Bill has not seen the light of the day. It says justice must not only be merely be done, but it must be seen to be done. Behavior and conduct of members of higher judiciary must reaffirm people's faith in the impartiality of judiciary. Accordingly, any act of a judge of Supreme Court or High Court, whether in official or in personal capacity, which erodes credibility of this perception has to be avoided. Two, a judge should practice a degree of aloofness consistent with dignity of his office. And three, every judge must at all times be conscious that he is under public gaze, and there should be no act or omission by him which is unbecoming of the high office he occupies and public esteem in which that office is held. So we are not talking about his judicial, you know, uh, uh, approach. But you are. Forget judgments are judgments about, yeah. that go against you are, are what you are decrying I'm today. Sorry. We are, you are comparing apples with oranges. Don't do that. We are talking about his personal behavior, his righteousness. This is not right. That's period. Forget judgment. He may have praying, given 10 praying to government. Praying, he has given praying to Lord Ganesha with the Prime Minister on your again. side during Ganesh Chutar Chaturthi upsets the righteousness uh, no, uh, measurement. Uh, Mahesh Jetmalani, please respond. Sorry, you are you are mistaken. It's improper. It's a misconduct. I look. I. Okay, all right, Dushant, you had your say. We've seen your view of what is righteous and what is not right. No, this is Supreme Court saying so. Look, Dushant, I'm not going to ascribe any... <laughs> I'm not going to ascribe any motive. All right, but I don't, I don't think you're right that the, that, the, that the judges of the Supreme Court should be very conscious of, of, their, of their conduct in private, in private. But I do not think that this is a serious violation of, of conduct expected for the judiciary. There is nothing wrong with inviting a prime minister or any other dignitary for an RT at your house for a deity. You people are just doing this because it's a selective outrage. Don't you are doing this people. because anything that smacks of Hinduism, no, you see, you have a red rag. Others. It's a red rag. I, I take strong it's exception. A, it, I'm, I'm sorry to say, I'm These sorry to say, that I disagree. I disagree with your views. misconceived you sense me. of righteousness. Your sense of righteousness is all is, is, is topsy turvy. It, you 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 deserve to get. Uh, in my view. Don't don't ascribe uh, don't ascribe motives to the people of India what they think about this uh, uh, arti which the uh, prime minister of India attend they are, they are sensible enough to realize that this is merely an occasion where darshan is and respects darshan is taken and respects are paid to a deity and nothing more than that. Absolutely, and on occasions like this, on, uh, on, Dave, on occasions like a puja, you know, who knows, there may have been a meeting of a committee and, uh, you know, some, uh, I don't know, you were not there. Uh, it must have been an off-the-cuff uh, uh, conversation that we have Ganesh and PM may have said, Are hum log bhi, uh, are, aapko badhai ho, and he would have said, Aap bhi darshan ke liye aa You know, are we making a mountain out of a molehill, number one. Number two, the question that I want to ask you is, never, and, and Mahesh Jaitmalani may be right when he says that your outrage is selective. When judgments are given by Chandrachur against the government, everybody is very happy. And I'm, I'm talking about a liberal ecosystem. You know what I mean. And uh, I, I completely uh, believe that it's the ecosystem that uh, sees everything negative in pujas, in the Hindu way of life, in the prime minister and in the BJP. I want to ask you, when in the past have you raised a question? You said KG Balakrishnan may not have been the epitome, but nobody has raised a question, a pertinent point made by uh, Mahesh Jaitmalani. Why don't you respond to that? No other chief justice has you had to uh, uh, face Nabi, what... Uh, Nabi is being Navika done ji, now. Navika ji, you should do some homework. I must have given at least 100 TV interviews in which I have frontally attacked judges after judges. And so far as Balakrishnan is concerned, I can now state 
and I have witnesses to say that I went to him personally in his chamber and raised serious issues about integrity, saying that your son's partner is, you know, uh, is send sending a message to the litigants at large that I can manage the court. You didn't say it publicly. Listen, there are some things which are not to be said publicly. Oh, this is, but this you are these saying are, publicly. But, well, I have said many a times in Gogoi's case, in Gogoi's case, 100 interviews, articles, 100. Yes, all of them in the BJP yes. era. Mayesh Jetmalani. I have publicly, I have publicly written letter against, you know, Mr. Adani, for example, uh, getting uh, Justice True. Mishra's court. All against, against the again. BJP, all against so, the BJP and the present ecosystem in power. It's not BJP, it's about corruption in judiciary. It has nothing to do with uh, BJP. It's nothing. On uh, When Mr. Manmohan Singh was uh, Prime Minister, okay. I went on television to say that Manmohan Singh and Gulam Manwati both must be prosecuted in Colgate case. So please don't ascribe BJP or Mahesh BJP. Malani, please I respond. have nothing to do with BJP or Congress. I am a lover of constitution. I am okay. a lover of... And Mahesh knows that. And that's why right, Mahesh's right, father right. loved me. That's why Mahesh's father loved me. Are, and I can assure you, if Mahesh was a judge today, chief justice today, he would not have done what the Chandra Jude has done. Although he's a staunch Hindu. Mahesh, this is called emotional blackmail. Please, please respond. Yeah, he's, he's, put me on the, he's put me on the defensive by saying nice things about me. But now listen to me. No, not about you, about your father. But, but, but let, me, let me tell you one thing. All right, I, or my father, both. Yeah, both. no, he, he said that even I wouldn't do it at the end. It was so I, I, there was a, there was a little tidbit for me also. But <laughs> you wouldn't do it. I know you too well. Right. Now, Navika, let me just say, Navika, just let me say this. This is not about this is not about Mr. Dushan Dave's fearlessness and him take you know him being the modern day Don Quixote against uh, all judges against Manmohan Singh against Gulam Mahanwati very good I mean everybody has filed public interest litigation on issues and taken on the very highest in power I respect him for that I respect him for that but we are now talking about whether this particular episode regarding the, dar the darshan and the arti at the Chief Justice House by the PM was a matter of such great lack of rectitude that these people had to go to town about it. I say no, it's completely disproportionate. In my view, it is an innocuous instance completely. But Dushan and his ilk are choosing to make it disproportionately, impro a matter of disproportionate impropriety because of other motives. I, I ascribe wrong motives to them, and I think in doing so, they are both underestimating the people of this country and the perception of that. Well, then that they will also allege, Mahesh Malani, that you are, they're, you they're are and have been a Rajya Sabha member of parliament of, uh, representing the BJP, which is why you are saying what you are saying, he's saying what I, he's I, saying. I just want to correct you, I'm not a Rajya Sabha member at the moment. Yeah, you have been, I said. You have been a Rajya Sabha member of parliament from the BJP. So you're saying yeah. what you're saying. It's all about perception. Where do yes, people yes. of India stand on this entire debate? Well, the people will decide. But at the moment, yes, not just the legal circles. It is really a political war that has broken all over this Ganesh Chaturthi Puja. This Puja, more special than any other Puja that we've seen in recent times. Thank you very much, uh, Dushyan Dave and Mahesh Jait Malani, for joining me on the news app. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.